Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and in today's video, we are gonna be using 3D printing to repair my G930 headphones. Um, these are a great pair of gaming headphones that I picked up a couple of years ago, and I use them daily until I left them in my chair, sat on them, and snapped one of the, one of the plastic pieces. And um, for some reason, I held on to them all this time. Um, I was kind of like using tape at one point to keep them together, and uh, I decided with 3D printing, there's gotta be a better solution out there. So I headed over to Thingiverse, I typed in the model number, which is again, G930, and was happy to see that I'm not the only one that has broken this part, and there was actually quite a few other replacement pieces and options available, so I kind of took a look at each of them and went with the one that I thought uh, was gonna work the best, which was this one right here. And I, um, I didn't have the original screws anymore, so this one looked like with the just use of some M3 screws, it would hold together and uh, I thought it was a good choice. So I went ahead and downloaded it, imported it into Repetier where I sliced it. Um, the slicer shows 20 here, but I ended up using 40% infill and 0.2 layer height. And it took in total roughly about 20 minutes to print. So once I had it all sliced up, I sent it over to my Monoprice Mini. And about 20 minutes later, I had the parts in hand. Um, I was a little concerned at first because I saw some people saying that these parts were a little bit too tight. Um, luckily, mine fit um, completely snug like a glove around the little metal parts of the headphones. So um, I didn't have that issue. Luckily, uh, I think the Monoprice Mini I have is pretty toned in or tuned in well. Um, but yeah, here's the plastic parts. You basically got four pieces that are like kind of inlets and four outlets and they just fit nicely into each other. And then they use two M3 uh, screws and nuts that kind of fit into the nut traps to clamp it all together. And it, uh, it seemed to work well. So the test was to see whether it would be able to withstand the stretching of being put on and off of my head. And I put it on my head as you can see here and kind of stretched it back and forth a few times to see if it would hold up and it seemed to hold up pretty well. So uh, with that test being checked, I went ahead and installed the drivers again on my computer for it and booted up some Counter-Strike and um, luckily they are working and it's working well again, which is awesome. So um, this is really cool. This is a much nicer fix than using some tape and I really like 3D printing for the ability um, to do practical things like this. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the lack of videos lately. I just need to take a little break, but I feel like I am back now. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace, guys.